Hey pinners, Michelle Held here from Pintalk.net. Today I am talking about a new Pinterest change where Pinterest has changed the pin it button to just a save button. Follow me online at Pintalk.net or on my YouTube channel. Also, I'm on Twitter and of course Pinterest for Pinterest tips, tricks, and tutorials. So today we're talking about how the pin it button has been renamed to the save button. So apparently this was a laborious decision for Pinterest. And what it used to be is that we used to have the pin it button and that was kind of a cute name for something that was native to just, just Pinterest and they've changed it to the save button. And the reason is that uh, Pinterest decided it was better for a global economy that they want to compete against Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and so they need to be need to have a, a save button that made more sense to people from different cultures and spoke different languages. So they've changed this to the save button so you can see it popping up. So what that means is we go to Pinterest and click on a pin and we're just going to get the save button. If we can get any of these pins to work, there we go. So we come to Pinterest and click on any pin and you can see that if you hover over or click for the close-up view, it now simply says save. The only other change that comes along with this update is we get a small board description right here. And we also see the other pinners that have saved this pin as well. And if we click on the ellipsis, we get the view of everybody who has saved this pin. So that's that simple change. The pin it button has been renamed to a save button and pins now include the other pinners at the bottom. So follow me online at pintalk.net check out my YouTube channel and subscribe. You'll see this is where you're watching this video. Or maybe you're watching it on Pinterest or from my blog, pintalk.net. Michelle Held with Pinterest tips, tricks, and tutorials.